So a lot of people, right, they're going to go get the bag, but then it's like the first time they done got the bag and then they don't know what to do with it. So what would you <laughs> recommend to someone that just they just first got the bag, their credit is good, now they got all this money, they don't know what to do with it? So so first thing I would do, um, like you just said it, bro, so I would literally go get me a mentor. Like getting a hundred thousand dollars, like this is the beautiful thing about business credit, and I say this all the time, right? Business credit can skyrocket you to the next level, or it can literally put a weight on you so heavy, bro, that you decide to go get your job back. Right? Like, like it's two different ways. Like you can look at it two different yeah. ways. I would hate yeah. for somebody to get their hands on a hundred thousand, now they owe eighty thousand, now they falling behind on everything. Now yeah. the business didn't take out like they wanted to because they tried to figure things out themselves. Like I've lost, let's say, just in today that I can count off the top of my head, I probably lost about $55,000 in mm. different businesses that I tried. My first real estate deal, I lost 25. Um, trucking, I lost 30. E-commerce, I lost like $5,000 just on some Walmart automation type store type deal. Oh, so man, like, I almost got in that. Bro, I'm glad you did. I'm glad I tell everybody stay Stop away. clapped from- by trucking too, though, so I feel you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, bro, everybody I know in trucking trying to get out of truck I ain't gonna lie. Oh to man, everybody Crazy. I know, and it was on. Though I guess the marketing was really, really good, but yeah, they're good. <laughs> yeah, they they real good, bro. So, <laughs> literally, everybody I've seen, bro. Every time I've been successful in any step in any opportunity, I've always found a mentor. And literally, mm-hmm. you can pay that mentor 2000 You can pay that mentor 20000 30000 It really don't matter. You invest on based on how you see yourself. So, mm-hmm. like, start small, and then as you get better and better, go bigger and bigger, because us me is better on the bigger side. But literally, mm-hmm. um, go get a mentor first. If you're thinking about a hard, something hard to actually invest in, I recommend real estate, because you actually know what you will make on the back end. Worst mm-hmm. case scenario, and that's all I do my numbers out for worst case scenario. What is what happens if everything goes to shit in the next six months? Mm-hmm. Are we still profitable or are we not? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, can definitely. I refinance? Can I got do I got options to pivot? That's the biggest mm-hmm. thing with real estate that's different than let's say a trucking company. Worst case scenario, you're gonna have a repossession and you you're not getting your money back. You know what I mean? There's no oh, equity man. in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you brought a good point earlier, which I tell them too. Like you just get your money. Let's say you get zero percent interest. We talk about Bank of America, for example. Yeah. Let's say you're in real estate or whatever. You take ten thousand dollars off of it. What's a hundred dollars a month to be paying? If you don't make the money back in the six to nine months, that you, that's not the business for you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you should be able to, you know, make that money back. So speaking of real estate, four point four million. Four point four million. Yep. And man, we got we got to salute you on that, man. Four point four million. That's four M's. Appreciate four it, bro. M's, man. It's going to be 40 by the next time we talk. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, most definitely, most definitely. Can we talk a little bit about your journey in terms of building up to that 4.4 million? You know, whatever you want to share about that. So, bro, with the 4.4, bro, that's our new construction. That's our new development. It might be a few gotcha. other houses in there that's going to be more like buying holds. Mm-hmm. So, truthfully, um, I, I was a, like, a, I, I think I did $1 million. I had $1 million worth of real estate by 2018, right? Mm-hmm. And I realized I had more headaches than anything else. Like buy and hold investing. <laughs> Everybody got they give. It's great for taxes. It's not good for cash flow. It's not good for, let's just say, being able to eat off the money anytime soon. So mm-hmm. with that, bro, that's all new development. We literally got houses that we throwing up left and right, bro. Um, mm-hmm. And we had a whole bunch of lots. So whatever the case may be, bro, right now, I got about six of them that we got right now. Um, but that's that's pretty much the game bro so leading up to that bro um it was a lot of wholesaling it was a lot of trying all kinds of different strategies in real estate um that was actually lucrative don't get get me wrong that was lucrative but with the portfolio i got right now i take my hat off just to that just because that one is more of the most passive thing i've done in real estate that don't take Mm -hmm. up any of my time and still allow me Mm -hmm. to eat feed my family and keep my money in my bank account so literally we use an opm to be able to scale that big, bro, it was no way we was going to ever get to that point using our own funds, right? Mm-hmm. So that's the beautiful thing about it. We literally bought a lot, um, 1.2 acres, and that's going to be five houses for us. And we literally got enough work for the rest of the year. We don't have to go back and go look for some more houses, go look mm-hmm. at any other deals, bro. We literally just got our wow. eyes on the prize. And it's going to produce at least five paychecks and probably 60, 70K 
per house uh, type paychecks. That's a good setup. That's yeah, yeah, setup. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, let's let's focus on real estate. Let's talk about the basics, the different ways people can get into it, what they should consider, um, that kind of thing. Because I got a lot of people that they focus on, you know, consumer laws, fixing their credit, all of that. But talk to us like from the basics of getting into real estate. Got you, bro. So just the basics. Um, I tell everybody in order to get into real estate, you either got you got you and you fall in a couple different categories, right? Either you mm -hmm. got money and you don't have time or you got time and you don't have money. That should tell you what you should do as far as getting started, right? So let's gotcha. just go to the people who don't have money, right? Who People who mm -hmm. don't have money, in order to get into real estate, you got you to gotta feed the flame by putting in more time, right? So whether that's door knocking, whether that's guerrilla marketing, like bandit signs. Are you familiar with bandit signs? Yeah, it's the... Yeah, it's the um... Is it the one where you say we buy houses or whatever? A hundred percent. You see them on the side okay, of the road? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, Bandit yeah, Signs yeah. literally, Bandit Signs literally made me my first hundred thousand oh, dollars. So my okay. mentor, I was asking them, bro, how are you getting these deals? Like you got deals everywhere, like everybody calling your phone. Um, and he was literally, bro, him and his brothers, he had three brothers, they they job was to put out a hundred signs each night. Mm. So each one of them putting out a hundred signs, I'm sorry, every weekend. So Friday. Okay it's 300 new signs going up for them. And they did that weekly. So you can just think about the compounding effects of yeah. seeing that sign all the time. So literally that's what we did, bro. And we got serious about it. So bandit signs was something we did. We had a lot of time. I just retired. My brother was working a job. He was a, a door knocking, he was knocking on doors for roofs. So we both had a lot of time. So literally every night, bro, I would get 150. He would get 150. We'd stay on the phone all night. Put the audio books on, whatever the case may be, thinking, bro, rich, how to win friends and influence mm -hmm. people, Definitely. stuff like that. Yeah. We yeah. just 12, 1, 2, 3 in the morning, bro. We just out putting out signs, bro, all over Dallas. And literally, that's how we start getting good at it. So you got to think about it. If you don't have the money, I would do things like that to start generating deals. During the daytime, we would go knock doors. So literally, we would get on foreclosure lists, find a, Let's say every month in Dallas, bro, it's probably about 300 foreclosures that you can go knock mm -hmm. on people's houses. So we will literally, I would pick a city for that day and go knock all 12 or 18 of those houses in that city. I right? move mm -hmm. to the next city. You know how the suburb is. It's, it's a lot of different suburbs. So literally, yeah. that's all we would do, bro. And between that and between that door knocking and putting out bandit signs, bro, we start getting good at negotiating. We start getting feeling good in front of talking in front of people. Um, getting them to kind of hit in their pain points without them getting offensive, knowing what mm -hmm. they was going to say, knowing some things to say back to kind of like bring them back down and level. Let's have a conversation type deal, bro. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just kind of how we worked it, bro. So literally bandit signs and door knocking and we start getting deals. Uh, now, on the flip side of that, a lot of people that I work with today, they busy nine to fivers. They got their own businesses. They not looking to really put in even four hours a week on a business, right? They looking, they looking literally to go get the bag from the bank. They got good credit. Um, mm -hmm. They looking to get the bag from the bank, invest that into good profitable deals. They're going to be lucrative. And I recommend new construction on that. Okay, let's pause there. So this is probably more where my audience aligns. They know how to fix the credit. They're going to get the good credit. They're on the way to the credit. They're going to mm -hmm. be able to get the money. You said new construction. That's what they should focus on. Yep, 100%.